and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kindred Sejuani as our second random champion deck today. We're going to be playing a deck that's going to be combining Frostbite with Freljord and Sejuani with some Slays with Kindred. There's two ways that those work really well together, and that's that, you know, Kindred, whenever it says with the first time you slay a unit each round, you mark the weakest enemy. Well, if they have something that's like really big and difficult to kill, but you frostbite it, and then you slay something else, you can mark that thing that you just frostbit, because it will then be zero power and be the weakest enemy. So that that's one way that they work well together. Um, then we also have like this card, Despair. Pick a unit to strike your Nexus and then kill it. Well, if you frostbite it first, then you don't have to really worry about taking any Nexus damage. That could uh, turn Despair into a much cheaper Vengeance if you know you kind of pair that with a card like Ice Veil Archer. Go ahead, Frostbite it, and then cast Despair, and don't worry about taking that damage. Could be kind of nice there also. So that's kind of like what, what we got going on here. Uh, we got card draw in the form of Glimpse Beyond, which also is an easy way for us to slay. Uh, Avarez and Sentry. And then even Battling Beer drawing uh, cards, we got a couple copies of those that they'll either draw the Sejuani's or this It That Stairs. Just kind of playing this It That Stairs, I know it's it's a little random, but playing this in here because I could see us uh, really struggling against Bandle Tree being like a slower control deck. So I want something to be able to get rid of landmarks. And I like It That Stairs more than Crumble because um, you also get this 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight body. So we'll play It That Stairs, one copy of that. One copy of Feel the Rush so we can get a 10-10 Kindred, 10-10 Sejuani for a top end card. And that's going to be it. You know, like this is kind of like a little control deck uh, with some card draw and removal and frostbite. So we'll see how it does. Kindred and Sejuani together. We're going to go play our five games, play them in normal like we do on random champion days where we can see how these champions work together. And we got Diego Nasus, kind of like probably going to be a lot like fresh Nasus before, but with Diego. I love Despair. For this matchup, I'm gonna send the rest back. But when they play like a card like Diego, I know it's gonna have a lot of power and do a lot of damage to us. But you have to be able to kill it. So I like that. Um, wanted to find some earlier stuff. We did not find any earlier stuff. So this was not a very good um, mulligan afterwards. Mm. A little further. could be good because they could potentially maybe go wide. I'm pretty glad they didn't play this Waking Sands and hit me for another 5. But we're not in a bad spot. out of a spot. Like, we're even up on mana. Horde's kind of even. Oh, man. They're playing Despair. They're smart. If I let it happen, we do 4 damage to them, sure, but I don't know if I really care about that 4 damage in our deck. I think we're just going to want to draw 2. Flash freeze plus despair. Build your own vengeance. Got it. That's true. That's true. That four damage would be one out of five for Sejuani level up. Not sure we were really a Sejuani level up style of deck. The whole world will know my language. Just gonna do regular despair. Okay, I didn't want to, but since they are playing that thing, and obviously I just did regular despair. I'm gonna go ahead and file these. We have def we we have different ways to heal our nexus. I wanted to wait on this file piece till after Kindred. I 
of worried about them having more hard removal spells. I feel like we could be a little patient. Don't need to be in a rush. Life is the rain that splits the skies. That's probably saying they want to, so they want to slay their own things. That'll help their Nasus, them slaying a bunch of stuff. Deal two to everything? I don't know, those are just O1s. Like Ravenous Butcher? Maybe I should just be, again, passing and holding up at the stairs. Steady now. Let's talk about your attack. They want this, like, we can assume they want slays for Nasus. I've got to meet me. We could do this in Troll Chant. Going this way with the troll champ means they can't just like file these and save something. Alright, so only four cards over there. Love this other kindred draw that can protect my kindred because we can. I say we can assume they've been holding on to removal. So I have to slay the things with the mark, not them slaying the things with the mark. That doesn't help me. So let's give them two more slays for Nasus. I should just block the three two, not the five two. That's just too light. I should just block the three two. So four cards left, we know one's a champion. Okay, so we finally slayed a unit with the mark. The cycle begins anew. He thinks he understands. Fool. Winter takes you. So we know another one of these cards is one of their champions. I'm kind of assuming it's another Nasus, like maybe they wanted to do the Nasus champion spell. Begins 
thinks he understands. Fool. Perfect. I was hoping that would happen. So this would this is gonna kill these two and mark the Nasus. Alright, should still do the same thing. It's just gonna kill all three of those. Yeah, because like the bio piece happens first, so it'll, it'll still kill the one one. So the only thing alive at that specific moment that we do the kindred is that Nasus. So only one card we don't know about right now. And that leaves them with nothing. Level up Kindred. Chomp. Let's go. Okay, we've been nice and patient in this game, and it looks like we are being rewarded for our patience. It's not lethal right now. This only puts them down to two. I think we're supposed to attack. Uh, eh. I don't want to do this. Leave your bags at the door. Cause we get Sejuani now. You know now that's lethal. Okay. And then we get like you know they play a blocker. We can Sejuani it. Want to know? Avelian, you've been trying to make a Zed Hecarim deck? I feel like we just played Zed Hecarim not very long ago. This could give you some... Yeah, you know, maybe try this list or give you some ideas. Hey, Gazer. What we got? Fiznami. Fiznami. Let's send back the Archer and keep the others. I kind of feel like Fizz Nami's going to be playing some like smaller units going wide with like some elusives, you know, like some Zap Spray Fins and stuff like that. And so kind of like this Withering Mist. Yordle Squires. Yeah, we're going to have, a we'll have Ash Victor right after this one. See the That's going to be here. interesting to see how those two work together. Made it a control deck. With a lot of frostbite. Looking for a hero for my hero. Ready, hammer? Look out for Reaver. I don't mind the Avros and Sentry trading. It's a pretty even game so far. Well, I guess. I'm gonna say because you know they have six cards also, but I guess two of them are like tiny spears or tiny shields, so they really only have like four cards. And then one was just that created by the Conchologist. These old eyes still see far and clear. I'm just going to be saving three spell mana to go along with the Kindred next round. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Bilgewater offers some good spells to create. Make a rain parlay, that kind of stuff. It would have been kind of rough if they would have just played a make a rain right here and put me down to 17, then open attack for five. To the world! Light the signal fires. Never one without the other. I, 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 surrender. Okay, so twenty time. Carved from the savage cold. 
Nami's only at three. Attack. Could be a mini morph deck. I'd rather they mini morph Sejuani than Kindred. All right, got to slay with a unit. You know, got to slay one marked unit. Withering Mist looks good against that card. Still looks good against that card. Oh boy, here I go. These things are, like the shields, I believe the shields are focus speed. I don't think you can just do the shields during combat. I don't think they can respond to something with a shield. Listen well, the waters speak through me. This is looking like it lines up really well for us. This withering mist is perfect. Yeah, Lady Lexmas says that I love this board music, and I I do too. I really love this board music too. It's great. Alright, so we'll still go back to 20, mark the fizz. All that's perfectly fine. We'll take take a little bit of a hit. It's perfectly fine though. Let's put a 1 mana 5 5 on top of us. We could have played there two pranks before attacking and would have had leveled up Fizz. But I decided to keep the spell mana instead. Alright, one mana 5 5 is nice. Bjerg has. We have two Sejuanis, one hit that stairs for the Bjerg. So if we play Bjerg, we likely draw Sejuani, which we can use for Fury of the North. This is the order I should be attacking. I don't, I don't know if there's a specific order we need to attack in. Gimme, gimme! Kills the Fizz, and then we get to mark the Kelp Maidens. So definitely really glad that we have these Splash Beasts, because their like, only way to win is to make a super big elusive, probably. And we're going to have these flash freezes anyway, so. This looks pretty good for us. Oh, yeah, because Kindred's leveled up, now we can draw Kindred. Because Kindred's a 5-5 now. And the Spirit Journey is awesome. You know, like, they buff something up a whole lot, then you just kill it, revive it, but mark something. Yeah, that that's awesome. So, we're looking great. We want them to hit the non-flash freeze cards. Oh, those are the worst pranks. <laughs> those are the two worst. To make both of those cost five, so now I can't do Spirit Journey and Flash Freeze. Bye, Nasher. I guess a Tavern Keeper. I can't play two of those other cards anyway. Let the tide carry you. Ride the surging tide. I 
This would have been a lot better if I could have played both flash freezes, those pranks. Pranks were a little rough. Kills the Nami. Those pranks making it so I only had one protection spell that ended up being pretty too close. With grace and precision. GG's. That seemed like a really good matchup for us though, right? Like we have like good removal and also frostbites for like when I really pump stuff up. Alright, Soraka Brom. I love Soraka Brom, but unfortunately, Soraka Brom's not that great right now. Uh, don't love this hand. We don't really need Troll Chant. Don't really need the Sejuani. Don't really need the Three Sisters. Could keep the Trapper, but it's not like Trapper gets through Sejuani or Braum. I'm just gonna send it back. I think we want cards like Despair. Yuck. Anyway, what I was gonna say is I think we want like Despair, Card Draw, Kindred. Card draw is important, especially if we're going to be putting in Rage Yetis back on top. Yeah, this is this is a terrible hand. At least we got the Sejuani. That's one good card. I must inspire where once I shepherded. Right, that's my job. Shepherding, I mean. This is such a poor trapper matchup because I don't want to draw in Rage Yeti. I want to be drawing removal spells. So I don't even want to play this card because it takes up a draw. Like, I don't want a one mana 5-5 five five <laughs> against Braum and Soraka. Man, this is terrible. We basically just want, like, all the other cards in our deck. There we go. That's a good one. Destroy some landmarks. We want any of the Shadow Owl cards. All the Shadow Owl cards How's are good. Flock, Except for Valfi. Like and Withering Mist. Some of them would attack with the Soraka. By the power of the stars. It's good, I shard. You own what you take. This one's on the house. I can't believe how poorly we drew this game. I just drew the wrong half of the deck. You leave me no but choice. game's not over yet. Live with purpose. Let's talk about the deck. Again. 
that's kind of what we want to do. We want to kill stuff and not damage things, right? Like, we don't want them to be able to heal things. We want things to be dead. Oh, they're not playing the other Star Spring. The worst card in our deck. How do we draw three of them? <laughs> the only card I don't want to draw. Um... Stand and fight! Is it the mustache? Who knows? I'll rip that mustache off and wear it! So we have double Fury of the North right now. I don't play the hit that stairs because that gives them a challenge. Alright, now we can play it. bad, just the three cards. Mm. We're looking a little worse, but... There we go. Finally. A Shadow Owls card. Our only one. Show me your best. Ha! This is fun, yes? Take heart. They would just entomb the Braum. So if we trade those, we mark Fraudback Protector. Another obstacle. I don't know if I want to keep Sejuani alive or if I want Sejuani to die and grab, you know, because we can, we, Bjork is going to grab new Sejuani. I think we grab new Sejuani and just let the Sejuani die. Oh, we're gonna mark Soraka now. That's great, actually. I'd rather mark Soraka. Soraka's drawing all the cards. Yeah, that's great. Live with purpose. So they only have 16 cards left. I have 25. They've drawn an extra nine cards than what I have. <laughs> They've drawn so many cards. Oh, they have the hush. So it's still marked, right? Like, it doesn't unmark it. It just doesn't round and kill the unit with the mark. Critfall is a mountain and covered in ice! So if I piercing darkness this, it will still die round end, won't it? Or, like, round start. Unless they have something else that heals it, but... I know, like, we're not, I'm not getting a mark with that, but it's, they just used a whole bunch of Guiding Touch. So it's not likely they have something else. How 
is your flaw, little shepherd? They're stronger every day, just like me. Yeah, so I think it's Mark again. I'll protect you. That thing kills itself. Let's go off. Have you met my shield? Frostbite that now, because now it's not surviving the eight damage to level up. Man, I really hope they don't have another one of those. Another one of those would be bad. Alright, cool. Kind of interesting how that worked. Pain is nothing. Oh, we don't get a mark, Braum. They're killing their thing. Not, I'm not slaying it. Okay. Mind game account for Braum. I want to play the Bjerg, but I think we need to keep Fury of the North protection available. It is easy, see? Shadow Owls card! Come on. Okay. So do we entomb it? Flash freeze, Braum levels up, and it starts making three threes. <laughs> I can't believe how we can't find any of these. Like, one glimpse beyond, and we're like golden, for example. I don't know which one of these to do. The calm before the storm. Was that another ice shard? Where we go wide. Yep, that was Ice Shard. Not so, so they're. Um, they want to damage that so they can heal it and draw a card. They block five, take four. Yeah, take 13, exactly. Patience again. Patience has really been paying off for us in these games. With grace and precision. And eventually, Kindred helped helped us win. The it that stairs came in really clutch, destroying those landmarks. Without that, you know, like there, that's like their way to win was those landmarks. Okay, so complete opposite deck now. Basically, Team Oak Gangplank. They're going to be. Uh, you know, burning us, using removal, that kind of stuff. This is a very good Averroes and Trapper matchup. I want that that body for the blocker, and then also the three, th the also the five five. Drew a little too much top end. After the Mulligan, we'll see if this is too slow. I would would Mulligan all four of those cards again. <laughs> Oh, we'd mulligan all these cards. But we have the, the one trapper that we kept. was the one card that has been good for this matchup so far. Humanity is obsolete. Sacrifice. 
We're playing. Oh, we're playing your favorite champ next. Is that gonna be Ash or Victor? Kill this ballistic bot while it's only doing one to me. Because that thing over time is going to be doing a whole lot of damage. Gotcha. Favorite champion's Ash. Okay. You have almost 80,000 mastery points on Ash. I'll shoot the wings off a of build wasp. Y'all check out our Ash deck and let me know what you think about it. Tough places bring tough people. Yeah, they are, they are so aggressive. And they've had a really good hand of just, you know, by round four, they've unloaded all but two cards. That's not easy to do. They've had a really good load of the ground hand to draw for us. Tread carefully. Well, we had all of our top end. So if we stabilize, we're going to have a lot more power. We'll win, but stabilizing is really difficult. Very difficult indeed. Basically, all they gotta do is play like a gangplank, and it's probably over. Born for conquest. So we do that. We mark Teemo. Like I could attack with Kindred, but there's also just there's not really any point. Like yeah, they just obviously they block the Powder Monkey. We take one. If we're gonna take one anyway, it's not really a reason to attack or to not attack with it. Oh, they have the gangplank. You fled us once. Well, that is. I am reborn of salt and pride. Explosives. Hang them by their entry. Barrel. I'd hope they were going to play something first. I think that's my best course of action. Man, we still we take three if I do that. If I block with Sejuani, and we obliterate the Powder Keg, we take, I guess, only one. Game plank takes five. But if they have any damage-based things, it's over. Because then they just use that. They use the powder kegs, and the game's over. Very good hand for them. They, you know, like like we talked about, they basically unloaded their their whole hand round four, and then they also had the powerful five-man champion to back it up. Just an ideal hand. Mine was a little too slow. We do have good draws. Okay, so they they didn't have a damage-based thing to just end the game right there. So that's a good sign. Um. I should have done this probably first, but anyway, we'll mark that gangplank. Oh, why didn't they? What are you doing? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, really, really good hand for them. We just had too slow of a hand, and uh, you know, didn't have like ta you know, we have good cards for that matchup. Tavern, you know, we're playing three tavern keepers, a couple withering whales, piercing darkness. Didn't have a poor draws for us, and we saw that we would have drawn a pop cap right there. So yeah, I just I just didn't want to go to one. That's why I didn't want to do that one. Okay, Vandal City Shadow Isles. Yeah, like these cards would have been great to have last game. I think that they're going to be just, you know, like, create a whole bunch of stuff, probably Catalog of Regrets. 
Oh, I, I said despair. Oh, never mind. This is despair. I thought this was something else. I thought that was uh, the Withering Mist. Yeah, I entombed the keg. So we didn't take three from Gangplank. I like that that stairs, because if they are going to be a catalog of regret stack, we have that. So our two drops are completely traded. Not bad trading even on on a loping telescope always feels like a win, that's for sure. Nothing escapes my watch. Could also wait till next round, have the Kindred in play. No. So completely even game so far. We made it. Yay. That is rough. That was my card to kill catalog. But maybe they're not a catalog deck, actually. Maybe this is just a loof. I guess this could just be a loof traveler's harrowing. I guess that that's a thing as well. Bear is so good. That's fantastic. This hand that we had would have been just such a great hand to have last game with triple vile feast, double tavern keeper. Like we're winning last game if we have this hand. Bow to no one. That's how it goes. You have your anti-aggro hand against the control deck. Never. They could very easily play like Miscall here and be very happy their Aloof Travelers died. I don't really see us winning this game. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. Well, we shall see. This'll take the chill off. There's two set twenties left for the babbling viewer. The elements bind the living and the dead. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Nothing a little steel kept. Make the darkness your own. Keep them from being able to block that thing. Too much card draw. Welcome to the Dipsy Too much card draw.
Take away a blocker, I guess. All right, so we're gonna be three and two. We could have definitely switched. Uh, switched hands last game. You know, like had this game, had this hand last game, and last game's hand this game. So that's not how it goes. You don't get to do that. I think that's gonna be the last damage we deal this game. But you never know. Never know. Yep. The loot Traveler's killing that 8 8 really hurt. Yeah, we could still draw Field of Rush, that's true. That's true, we could. Gonna be able to make another hidden pathways. It's just we're just getting buried by card advantage. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. We have a flash freeze on top. That's pretty bad. They're creating another prank that didn't have anything else that they were creating. Catalog of Regrets is really cool. Like, that's a really good card. That, you know, combining that with Aloof Travelers is definitely pretty nice. Okay. Maybe feel the rush? glad they didn't hit feel the rush to make it cost two more and then you can't ever play it but I, I think they have a rule against that of like hitting a card that you can't ever play so we're gonna have to hope that they don't have another uh, ruination which they should be playing more than one ruination in their deck but hopefully they don't have it yeah, if you can't hit Field of Rush, you can't make it cost 14 new. You can't make a card uncastable. Well, that's our best threat. That's that's what we got. That's our best threat. We have lots of cards over there. What do they got? Seems like they got a lot. That's a really good sign for us that this 10-10 Overwhelm may be able to kill them. They, they're still definitely answers. You know, like they can turn it into like a 1-6, for example. Not linger. The 
That's a good sign. We got him. Wow, they didn't have an answer. They didn't have no vengeance. No many more. No. Uh, that card turns it into a 1 6. No ruination. None of that. Wow, we got pretty fortunate. So a 4 1. And lost to a matchup that is usually. So. Yeah, the the one that we lost to was an aggro deck that I think is probably going to be a good matchup when you're playing multiple Withering Mist, Piercing Darkness, Triple Tavern Keeper, Vile Feast. You know, if you just kind of draw those cards, but we didn't. And then we beat a control deck that I think is going to be kind of a tough matchup because they can just outgrind us and our, our threats aren't like that aggressive. I think that's a really tough matchup. But then we, you know, had a good hand and drew our Field of Rush luckily and they didn't have an answer and we won that. So I wouldn't, you know, I think over the long haul, you'd probably switch those two, but still be 4-1 overall. So, you know, they kind of even themselves out. So nice little Kindred Sejuani deck here. I liked how they worked well together. Um, you know, the Frostbite with Slaying and everything like that. And Kindred Kindred just overall looked really good. Like, Kindred was awesome. But, you know, Sejuani doing the, the Frostbite Vulnerable, that play ability is very strong as well. So two good champions. And a good record. So another four and one for our random champions. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this version of Kindred Sejuani. If you're looking for a Kindred Sejuani deck, give it a try. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. And, um, you know, if you would have built it differently, let me know. Or if you got any improvements or anything like that. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next one.